Hey, what's up guys? Josh from Trail Build, and there is no doubt that trying to figure out which size tire will fit on your Jeep, truck, or off-road rig can be a bit of a guessing game. Hence why we have a fitment gallery right on our website, but then there's trying to figure out how to read all the different sizes as well, like P-metric, LT-metric, or flotation sizes. And that's why in today's video, we're gonna cover the basics of how to read the different types of tire sizes and help take some of that guesswork out of it for you. Also, if you guys are looking to pick up a new set of wheels and tires or suspension lift, make sure and head on over to our website. It's trailbuiltoffroad.com. All right, guys, before we get started, tomorrow at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time is the deadline for your chance to get entered into the Method Race Wheels giveaway for your chance to win a brand new set of five Method Race Wheels of your choice in any bolt pattern, any size, any color, including that new exclusive red and V that you've been seeing. The best way to get entered is is to head on over to our website, it's trailbuildoffroad.com forward slash giveaway and pick yourself up one of these awesome t-shirts. Plus a percentage of the t-shirts will be going to our friends over at Team Rubicon. If you've never heard of Team Rubicon, they are a veteran operated disaster relief organization that is there to help out communities rebuild after a natural disaster strikes. So for more information about Team Rubicon and to enter into the Method Race Wheels giveaway, just click the link in the description below. Also guys, remember to smash that subscribe button so that way you guys can hold on to the ride with us. Ready, let's go. If you guys have ever looked at a tire size chart and thought it was a little overwhelming, well, that's because it is. There is a ton of information to break down when trying to decide on what's the best tire size to purchase for your own application and can be a real challenge. And also why we have a gallery on our trail built website made specifically to see what size tire fits and what doesn't. And that helps take a lot of that guesswork out of trying to figure it out for yourselves. But first, we have to understand how to read the tire sizes. To start, there are two different types of listed measurements for tire sizes. One of them is metric and the other is flotation. Metric sizes start with a number in millimeters and there are four different designation categories for metric sizes. There's P for passenger, LT for light truck, then ST for special trailer, then T for temporary tire. Typically, the designation is imprinted before the number, and if it's not, then most likely it's a passenger tire. The first number on a metric size is what's known as the section width of the tire, or basically the width of the tire, and is measured from the sidewall to the other sidewall in millimeters. The next number is a percentage of the first number and is used to determine the height of the sidewall. After that, the next number is the size of the wheel. Typically, you will see an R that separates the sidewall height number and the size of the wheel number, and that'll tell you that it is a radial ply constructed tire as opposed to its counterpart, the bias ply. Radial tires are the most common tires on the market for passenger vehicles as their construction allows for a much better ride compared to the bias ply. Light truck tires will have additional what are called plies or layers of woven nylon or steel to construct what is known as the carcass of the tire. They'll also have a thicker rubber, deeper tread, and stronger bead bundle. The more plies or layers there are, the stronger the tire is, plus are capable of holding a higher pressure of air. All right guys, now that we have that covered in metric sizes, flotation sizes are much easier to understand as their number directly relates to the tire's measurement in inches. The first number is the height of the tire in inches, the second number is the width of the tire in inches, and the third number is the wheel size. For example, we have a 35 inch by 1250 17, which means the tire is 35 inches tall, 12 and a half inches wide, and fits a 17 inch wheel. And for the other example for P metric sizes, this one here is a 285 60 with a 20 inch wheel and measures to just about over 32 inches. Or we also have the calculator link in the bottom on the footer on our website at trailbuildoffroad.com so you can convert those metric sizes into flotation sizes to know exactly what size tire is gonna fit on your rig. 
Alright guys, hopefully this video has helped out in one way or another and if you guys are looking for a new set of tires and wheels, make sure and head on over to our website, it's trailbuiltoffroad.com. And if you guys do have any questions on the different tire sizes, just let us know in the comments below. Other than that, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, thumbs up to like the video and as always, we appreciate all of you for watching. I'm Josh from Trailbuilt and we'll see you guys out in the trails.